Yes, see what's going on. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. Get in there. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. <laughs> Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. Sergeant Wumi did a 10 bit series as Alien Wadu, starring a female detective voiced by the voice actress who did Judy Hopps from Zootopia. Oh, oh, we got a cutscene. Alienist Fontaine working selflessly to help the infirm. Yes. Yes. You look troubled. I'm in a jam, doctor. Can I help, Courtney? Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, <clears throat> we'll never leave this room. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. Mm -hmm. The drug ring. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons. For short-term gain. We came home from China on the Cool Ridge. The morphine robbery. That was us. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Tell me about it, Doc. Mm -hmm. uh, we shifted our <clears throat> stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? Sure. Do your underworld contacts have all the morphine? No, they don't. We doled it out, hoping we could control it. Are they pressing you for further allocation? That's the polite way of putting it, Doctor. I may be able to help you, Courtney. Thanks, Doc. It helps just to talk about it. I mean, I have a solution that will help you financially and... Mm -hmm. Salve your conscience. Give it to I'm me. All ears, I'm gonna get high as fuck. I will transact to take all the narcotic <laughs> off your hands. Yep. And you can rest assured that it will all be medically administered. I will use the funds that I no longer require for the purchase of medication and invest them in housing developments. Housing? The developments in question are housing projects for former servicemen. Your return will come from the sale of the properties, and your investment will benefit those that you care for most. Does this arrangement meet with your approval? You're a magician, Doctor. <laughs> it's money laundering. That's what it is. He's gonna sell the drugs, take the drug money to finance all these houses to sell to servicemen and make a ton of money. There you go. 8 of 13. Whoa, what was that? He went out the window. Ah, I'm stuck. <laughs> stuck behind a punching bag. To the shower. Oh my god, he dropped the soap. Toilets. Oh my god, he wore boxing gloves. Completely illegal. There's a phone number we can run by R&I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. 
You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Okay. Oh my fucking god, athletic tape. The real smoking gun right there. That's it. All it was was their phone number. Oh my god. Alright, put that down. <laughs> How do we get out of here? Where's the door? You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. Look who it is. You guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me... Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky <laughs> one, isn't he? Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. There's the phone. All right. <clears throat> Call the number, see what we get. Operator, message for KGPL. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number, AL345. The address for the phone number is the Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. Thanks, ma'am. Uh -huh. Aha. You know the place? Lamar. Flop house. Quarter a night, no questions asked. Huh. So it's a piece of shit hotel. Sergeant Woomy, did a 10 bit cheer, and he said, Can you drive to this one? He said, Say filled pineapple does not have? belong on pizza. I'm sorry, Sergeant Woomy, but pineapple does belong on Hawaiian style pizza, which is quite delicious. In fact, if we add some other things like banana peppers and stuff, it could be really you good. You seem to have a pretty cozy but, relationship. No, I would not put pineapple on just a normal pizza. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, Detective? Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. Boom, 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 boom. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. Uh. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Wow, Brooks Brothers has been around for a long time, huh? Because they're still around. I didn't know Brooks Brothers existed back in the 1940s. Holy shit. Damn, that's been around for a long ass time, man. Alright, folks, we only need 60 more bucks to make the Patreon go for this month. Let's do it. Check it right now. I got a running tally. She prays hot water and rogue saxophonists. Actually, it was a trumpetist, wasn't it? A trumpetist. Yeah, what do you want? LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Hmm. Tommy you know, the Giant the Cock? Out on the radio? <laughs> another commendation? Horatio okay, Whoremonger? So for Tommy. Orson That's Wells! Orson fucking Wells. Dude, that's great. Jimmy Cagney. Ava Gardner, Shirley Temple. Bob Hope. Humphrey Bogart. Winston Churchill. Harpo Marx. These are great. Hello, Cry Seeds. Thank you for the 10-bit cheer. I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just mashing. I have no idea what I'm looking for. That's a... Oh, I definitely didn't want that. What the fuck, dude? 
I wanted the chat log. Look for prominent Tommies. Oh, okay. I wasn't paying attention. Ganon Resurrected. Just subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Ganon Resurrected, for the sub. And Mountain Dew Slayers. Just cheered 10 bits and says, Spoiler alert, Scott Shelby is the origami killer. Oh my fucking God. How could you? Wow. Uh, excuse me. 